So just a quick rundown of the new UI. Um, so they've made some enhancements. As you can see, it starts off like this. Um, when you're driving manually, the navigation system is larger and the UI for uh, what the full self-driving beta and the camera see is smaller. You've got your um, park reverse neutral drive along the left as before. Um, you've got your speed that shows up here in nice big text. And then they move the battery, the speed limit sign, they move the steering wheel icon indicating you to turn on um, full self-driving or autopilot. It's a beta. Remember that it's not meant to be fully autonomous at this point, but that's how you know when you can enable it. And then you've got your current set speed. Now, when you enable full set, when you enable autopilot, everything changes because now you're letting the car drive. This grows, that shrinks because you're not going to need that anymore because the car is driving, and you have more visualization space to see what the car is up to. That's actually quite nice. And as soon as you turn off and you start driving, you get the larger nav screen back for self-navigating and, and hand-driving the car. Very impressive.